Hello everybody, this is Lana K here, and welcome to part 3 of uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time playthrough. Today we will be uh, defeating the boss of Deku, of the Deku Tree Temple. Um, the boss will be Goma, it's a big spider. Um, I explained in the last episode how to defeat it, but if you guys did not watch the epi last episode, uh, how to get to the temple, I definitely recommend you go see that first. So, um, how you defeat this, uh, boss is you have to stun it with a Deku Nut, and then you have to go in with your sword and just start slashing it, or you can use your slingshot, but I definitely recommend the sword instead. Uh, that'll be way more useful to you, and as you can see, I did stock up on slingshot, uh, seeds even though i'm not going to be using them i still stocked up on them and i did stock up on deku nuts which i do suggest you do so um now that i've that i'm done explaining most of this i'm going to uh, you have to go up to it and you have to look at it right in the eye and then you can start attacking it so or you can start the battle rather um so as i'm going to do i'm going to run right under it and i'm going to look at it like so and as you can see the cutscene will start and so will the battle and there's a division sign ew nobody likes math so bleh. well that's a lie some people do but um that's a division sign so i guess nobody likes that <laughs> i guess that's, I'm, pro I'm guessing that's just uh um a little i don't know i guess it's just a coincidence so uh <laughs> i'm gonna go up and try to uh, just back away from it I'm gonna look up at it, and it will drop eggs, the little mini gomas I showed off in the other episode. Uh, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to destroy them all before they hatch into little mini gomas, because they can deal a lot of damage. Uh, not after you get more hearts, but we only have three hearts as of right now, so that's going to cause a lot of damage. So I would definitely suggest that you, um... You definitely destroy the eggs before they hatch, because they can deal quite a bit of damage. Uh, and they can waste a lot of time. So, um, here it is again. It's going to lay its eggs. Um, I'm going to wait for them to drop. And then I'm going to start going in and slashing them like so. Before they start to hatch. Then, uh, Goma's going to fall down. And then you can stun her or him. I'm just going to call it a her. Uh, and then start slashing it. See, I got two slashes in right then. Uh, you can d you can get two slashes in, but with my luck, I only get one in because I'm very slow. If you have very fast reflexes, um, I would definitely suggest you try and get two slashes in. But you have to have a very good aim and very good slashing but, uh, abilities. But I would definitely suggest, actually, that you use your Z-targeting, or if you're using... Uh, uh, can uh, if you're not using like a Nintendo 64, uh, then I would definitely suggest you can use um, you can use the ZL button on your Wii controller, and then you can use the ZL button on your Wii U gamepad if you're using those. Um, so here I am, going and slashing it, waiting for it to get back up. Um, but I don't know if you guys uh, knew this, but if you guys are playing this on a Wii or Wii U, um, you can customize your controls uh, to how you like it. So, uh, definitely something I recommend. But if you're on the Nintendo 64, you have to deal with the controller, uh, the controls that it provides. But that's just a little thing I found out that if you're using a Wii or a Wii U. But if you're using a Nintendo 64, um, then you, you're going to have to deal with the controls provided. Which I don't know why they do that. I mean, really, they should be, um, you should be able to customize the controls on the, uh, menu screen where you choose, where you choose your file. I find that to be, uh, I wish they would have done that in Nintendo 64 games. That would have been really cool. Um, this battle's almost over. I think I got maybe a f one more hit in. I th yeah, I think I gotta do one more hit. I think this is gonna be it. Nope, one more. Yeah, I know this one after this will be it. I'm positive. So after this, this battle should be done. And we should be able to get the spiritual stone of the, uh, the spiritual stone, um, of the forest, the Kokiri Emerald. Um, and, oh god, I'm, I'm running out of health. I should probably, oh, yep. 
I got it. I did it. Yep. There she goes. And she is dead. Yes, sir. That was a pretty simple boss battle. Um, pretty sure anybody could do that. Um, uh, here we go. We got a heart container that makes that gives us four hearts now. And here we are. We're gonna go back and exit the temple. So here we are. We're just exiting the temple right now, and uh, yeah, I'll just shut my mouth so uh, you guys can watch the backstory. I'll talk to you guys after. Bye bye.
Alright everybody, now that the cutscene's over, I'm going to explain what happened. So, the three goddesses that created Hyrule, um, created the Triforce and everything like that, we already, you guys already saw the cutscene on that, but basically, I'm going to explain to you the spiritual stones. So, we need to collect three of them, we already got one out of the three, um, we got the Kokiri Emerald from the, fo from the forest, uh, and we have two more to get, we have to get one from Death Mountain, and then one from the Zora, uh, from Zora, from the Zora's area, I think it's Zora's Domain. We have to get one from Zora's Domain and Death Mountain. Um, they're called the Kokiri's Emerald, the Goron's Ruby, and the Zora's Sapphire. That is the order that they're in, too, just for those of you wondering. Once we get those three... We will be able to, um, go on to the next part of the game. Uh, I'm not going to spoil that quite yet, but, um, it's going to be the next part of the game. It's, this game is very long, it's going to take a lot of time to complete, and I hope you guys stick with me through it. Um, it's going to be a long journey, but, I'm, that's going to end this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, like, and consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye